and i can understand when you're at home and you'll be like hey i'm too lazy because i just worked the whole day i don't have time to uh, practice english i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it up in some work and believe okay hello hello um hello everybody nice to meet you all and the thing is i cannot see you guys name so um, this is what i'm seeing right now i see hello martis and another one hello nice to meet you nice to meet you all welcome welcome to the stream the thing is in order for you guys to in order for me to see your name you need to do something in the description you will find a link and if you press the link i can see your name i forgot to put something in the description in order to explain it sorry about that but um yeah we cannot do anything about it what you can do is say what you want to say put your comment and please please put your name behind it yes okay today we have a lot of things to discuss and uh, i'm going to go show you guys a couple of tricks that you guys can use in order to learn english and uh, i'm saying if you use this and you keep um, doing it you will learn it faster so if the sound is not good just tell me if i'm too loud also tell me in the comments because i can hear myself but i do not know if it's too loud for you guys yeah so let me know in the comment if the sound is too loud or not so what we're going to do today like i said we're going to discuss how you can learn english what you can and what you cannot do we're going to look first how long is going to take to learn english so how long is it going to take to learn english second what can you do in order to learn english faster and i can say if you only um, if your goal is to only talk with foreigners and speak english with other people you can learn it in like one or two months but you have to be disciplined second if your goal is to do ielts or other um, let's say um exam for english i can say you can learn it in a couple of months but you need to practice every day so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to show you a plan how you can uh, learn english but i'm also explain some things that you can use in order to learn english yes so let's go to the dry um pdf yeah doing the pdf i will show you some things the thing is if you see this pdf here it's explain um when you go to a co um, company most of the time you need to determine your level of english so if you see this here you see english language level most of the time when you go to a center or english house doesn't matter where you go they'll tell you what your level is but the problem with that is when you look at your level you cannot compare with other people or some company does um they do not know what it means and that's a problem so in europe and a lot of country they have a system when based on the system they define so they know what your level is and system start with um c2 is the highest level c1 and then b2 b1 and then you have a2 a1 you see here a is the lowest level beginner and c2 is the highest level when you apply for a job or you apply for a uh, university abroad most of the time they need to determine your level of english in order to see if you can communicate with other students at the university when i went abroad because i was in the netherlands for us it was easy yeah. but if you're coming from a um, country outside europe it's going to be difficult to prove um, to prove to them what your level is of english so what you need to do you need to do some exam it can be ielts it can be anything but you need to prove to determine what your level is so if you have a band eight or nine on ielts you are c2 if you are seven or lower yeah seven you're c1 and as you can see if you're five or six you're b2 simple right 
and if you're below five and six you'll be one a two it determines how far you are with learning this is also important in order for you to determine what you need when you want to learn english if you just want to communicate with other people b1 is enough because as soon as you have the basic understanding of english or as soon as you know the basic things uh, for conversation b1 is enough you are at the level of b1 the thing is if you want more then you need to practice more and what i'm trying to say is getting to this level can uh, take one or two months it depends how many hours you invest in it i'm saying one month and i'll explain later how you can do that per day but here you can do this in one month that doesn't mean you have to study only that month what it means is you have to spend five or six or seven hours a day practicing english in order to get to that level so if i sp uh, spend one month five or six or seven hours per day i can get to this level if i'm starting out hopefully you understand what i mean if you want to get to b2 and b1 that's a different story so getting to b1 is easy okay. but getting a level higher is going to be difficult why is that you need to learn a lot of things so as soon as you start it's easy to learn the basic steps to go up but then it's going to be really hard to go up up so you need to practice more and you need to challenge yourself more otherwise it's hard to go up what i see most of the time is some people reach certain kind of level so they reach let's say b1 or b2 eh? they do not develop because they do not know how to improve the english yes they talk with other english um with other native speaker but it doesn't mean they improve because if you let's say if i change the way i talk english with other people let me give you an example after this class i have a meeting with the client i need to talk differently why because my clients they talk on a different level when i'm speaking in class it depends who's the students i need to adjust my level to that person you understand what i mean so if i'm talking to a beginner i try to change my voice or the way how i talk at the level of the beginner if i'm talking with someone from c2 or higher i need to change my, the level how i talk with this kind of person so when you learn english it's important for you to have that knowledge but it's also important for you to practice that and the people the problem that people are having is when they are between b1 and b2 they do not know how to do that and that makes it really difficult in order to get an eight or a nine when when you have an ielts you understand what i mean because it depends what kind of words you're using in different kind of situations sometimes you see people keep repeating the same word there's nothing wrong with that but if you learn how to adjust if you know how to change the other kind of words based on a situation you can go really far so that's the thing that i'm having right now sometimes i need to change the way how i speak sometimes i don't yeah. so if you learn that it's easy for you to develop really fast to go from let's say b1 um, b1 to c2 because you know what you need to learn and what not during the class most of the time when a student is in class i give the student something really difficult and something really easy and every time it's the same story that something really difficult is difficult but when they go from something difficult to something easy it's really easy but if they go from something easy to something difficult they don't like it they're going to be like that easy is difficult but the difficult is um, difficult you understand what i mean what am i trying to say when you make something difficult for yourself when you challenge yourself it's easy for you to do the easy things and when you go to a test most of the time those things are easy that's why i'm saying if you want to get an eight or a nine it's easy but you have to do some difficult things in order to make it easy for you when you're taking the exam so hopefully you guys understand that hopefully i'm not going too fast if i'm going too fast watch the replay stop it and go back listen it again maybe they have subtitle i don't know i didn't test it with this program yet that's also something that i need to note down by the way subtitle ecamm yeah i'm always looking for a way to improve some things 
but um, okay now we know the levels so we know level C C1 C2 B B2 B1 so getting to A is easy getting to B it's okay but getting to C is difficult unless you challenge yourself yeah so how does it work this takes one month this takes three months or six months I'm gonna be honest with you three or six months because after one month you can understand the basic conversation and you can start talking I'm gonna show you later some examples of um, things that you can say I tried to translate it hopefully it's okay you guys can um, correct me I tried to translate it in Vietnamese so you can uh, correct me if you want but um, yeah so this is three to six months and this is one to three years it depends how you learn but if you if you're learning english like one year you're gonna get really far especially if you follow um yeah we have a course i'm not going to promote it during live stream because i think if you're really serious about it you will ask about it and if you do not know about it maybe you can ask me hey do you teach in private or whatever i'll be there yes this is our course but during our course i will force you to speak english and i will force you to challenge yourself every class so you don't have to worry about that if you're my student if you're my student you know what i do during class and sometimes you don't like it and sometimes you, you do like it but you're learning way faster than other people because you will see the difference so this is the level and the level is clear what we are going to do is we're going to look at some other language from this language i can speak four yes i can fluent sp uh, um, i can speak dutch fluently like a native spanish i'm a beginner and my mother language is not in here and i can speak english so technically i speak four language this is in a chart or infographic call it whatever you want and it's give you information or indication indication means um, an example of how many hours you need to spend in order to learn a language and how many people are speaking the language why is that if you are investing in learning a language it's important to know how many people are speaking it because if you speak a language that only five million people speak it doesn't really gonna help you in the future unless you really like learning language hopefully you understand what i mean so if i'm learning a language let's say dutch 21 21 7 million people i thought 15 but okay yeah um it's easy to learn it says here only if english is your uh mother language yeah so if you're native english if you go to those um language those languages are easy to learn same as if you go from vietnamese to spanish um i hear someone talk about it but i'm not sure i didn't verify that so i didn't i'm um, check that if it's true but um it can be so there may be some similar things that are similar in vietnamese and spanish so spanish can be easy for you guys i'm not i do not know if it's true but i'm just saying yeah but for me dutch i know dutch and spanish spanish is close to my mother language so it's easy for me to speak it but it's also easy for me to understand it so if i'm in um let's say in spain or mexico i can understand it and i can say some things and let's say if i'm one week or one month in mexico or spain i can survive just by speaking a little bit of language the basic things i can manage and that's at a level you understand a level is can you manage can you survive um in an english environment or in a spanish environment in this example yeah Portuguese, I cannot speak Portuguese, but some things from Portuguese, I some words, some sentences are the same in my language, some structure. But uh, my language is not on this. Afrikaan is this almost the same as Dutch, but uh, it's hard to uh, understand. People from South Africa, some of them speak Dutch, but the Dutch from South Africa, it's technically it's not really the same as uh, the Dutch in, Net in the Netherlands. But here. You see other language and you see these are really difficult for me to learn like uh, thai finnish polish vietnamese all the things are really difficult 
and i can prove you guys when you follow this plan it's easy for you to also learn vietnamese but vietnamese is a tone language so you need to learn how to say the tone tone okay um i think we have a comment let me see what the comment is and if i okay nice someone saying i am a2 nice 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 i'm glad to hear that um can you state your name in the comment eh? i'm really glad you say that eh? so you see here say i am a2 yeah that's nice that's really nice and then we have someone saying hello in vietnamese uh yeah i think hello in vietnamese uh sing ciao or ciao or ciao yeah i think ciao it is ciao but uh yeah let me continue with the story so you see here a lot of people it says um, around 70 million but i think around 90 million people are speaking vietnamese and only in this part of the asia so these are a lot of people and if you look at dutch only 20 while here 70 so you guys know the language you're good to go yeah. And then, what's difficult to learn? Arabic, Japanese, Chinese, Korean. These languages are difficult to learn for native English people. So, how can you use this? When you're learning a language, here you see what is easy and what is difficult to learn. It depends what your mother language is. But, here you will also see how many hours you need to invest in learning these languages. So, let's say I do not know any Dutch and i'm a native english speaker and i'm trying to learn dutch i need to spend 600 hour class hour in order to learn dutch so i need to spend those hours practice you understand what i mean yeah. and here you see medium 1110 class hours when it's a medium and when it's really hard 2200 i can understand why this is really hard because this is um, here you have a lot of things that's, uh, that makes it difficult. Arabic, um, I know it's difficult because I have some Arabic friends and um, they know it. Some of them, they do not know it, but they can read it. So, yeah, I can understand why this is difficult. But, okay, we are not here for all these languages, but we are here for English. And you want to know how long does it take to learn English, right? So if you want to know how long does it take to English, I'm going to explain that here. Eh? But first thing first, just remember, in order to learn a language, you need to invest hours. Invest hours means not only practice when you talk with other people, you need to also sit down and listen to some music or practice some things or practice some exercise. There are enough exercise online that you can do in order to practice. If you go on a Discord, you see a list of websites where you can practice like the grammar, um, video exercise, a lot of things. So it's all up to you. You understand? I'm going to show you right now how you can practice English and how many hours you need to invest in it. It depends who you are. If you are an adult, you need to spend this much hour. If you are a teenager and you go to college, if you are a student, you need to spend this much hour. But there's a problem adults they do not have enough time because they have to work students they have enough time but they do not know what to practice they do not know how to practice you understand what i mean right i know you guys know you guys want to learn right but put some hours into it if you have your phone you don't need to have the laptop if you have your phone you have youtube can guide you if you have your phone you can look at some ebooks that you can learn if you have a phone and a paper, you can make some exercise online. There are websites there that can help you guys. Just go on a Discord. On a Discord, you find a list of a website. I couldn't put it in the comment because not something that I do. So just go in the Discord. You find a link in the description and you find a lot of things that can help you. If it's speaking, listening, writing, whatever. Yeah. Let me think because... Uh, that's it. Yeah, coffee is a little bit cold. I think I talk too much. Okay. How long does it take to learn English? Second document. You see, last time I discussed this, but let's look at this whole document. Because uh, when you look at the document, it's important to know what the source is. And if it's reliable, it means can I trust this? Yeah. So we are looking at this document. Cambridge University Press. Okay. 
they have the stamp of Cambridge even University. Must uh, you, you can trust it because it's a trustworthy university and it's an international university. I trust it. I do not know if you trust it, but it's up to you. Yeah. How long does it take to learn a foreign language? Wow, that's something that I'm looking for. I want to know how long does it take to learn English. If I'm speaking Vietnamese, foreign language, one of them is English. Okay, so technically I can find my answer in here. But you, may, you must be like, okay, I'm trying to learn English, but I'm reading a book in English. But I'm listening to someone that doesn't speak Vietnamese. Hmm, how can I understand that? Google Translate. Translate it. It's not always correct, but you can translate it. If you can translate it, sometimes it's correct. Sometimes you have an idea what they are trying to say. Do not trust it 100%, but it's better than nothing. When I needed to learn some language, so when I learned Dutch for the first time, I didn't have those kind of thing. I had, how do you call it? A dictionary where you have to look up some words. When I need to learn German, German hey, I need to look things up in dictionary. I didn't have Google Translate. You guys have Google Translation. Use it. You can use your phone, you can use Translate. Use it. We didn't have that. If I need to translate something, I need to go to library or I need to have a dictionary in order to translate it. And I don't like learning new languages. So, if you're learning a foreign language and you have the tools, why aren't you learning? Yep. So, back to the question, how long does it take to learn English? Yeah. So, you see here, they have a lot of things about English. They explain the learning environment. What they mean by learning environment is when you are in a place where everyone speaks English, it's easy for you to learn English. For example, if I'm learning Vietnamese and I go down, let's say, to the mall and I see a lot of people speak Vietnamese and I try to learn the language, in a couple of years, um, not years, weeks, I know the basic things in order to survive. So I can be A1 on A2 level. You see how handy A1 and A2 level is? And one thing I forgot to say, the level A, A1 until C2, you can put it on your resume. If a company asks you level, you can put that in the resume. If your company doesn't know what it means, that means don't go work there. Why is that? Because they're not professional. If you are professional and you have an HR department, if you have a professional recruiter, they know about that. Yeah, because otherwise it's a scam a company. Uh, I talk a lot with um, companies that are starting up, and most of the time I advise them about the HR department of the recruiter, and I always test the recruiter about those kind of things. These are the basic things. Yeah? And if you're serious about working for an international company where you want to earn a lot of money, that's why you want to learn English, those are small things which you need to pay attention. Yeah? There's a lot of scammers company out there, you, want, you don't want to work for them. I understand you want to work to get money, but watch out for scammers. Yeah, that's my tip for you guys. So, recap the level. You can put it on your resume and they will recognize the level. Yeah, but there are some tricks on the resume that you can put and it will make sure that when they look at your level of English, they know it's enough to, um, to get into the program that you are applying for. Yeah, so um, that's about that. Let's go back to the question. How long does it take for me to learn English, right? First thing, determine your level. Second, what is your goal? Third, how long does it take? So we need to figure out who are you? So who are you? Are you an adult? Are you a student? What do you do? Why is that important? Because it determines how much hour you can spend per day in learning English. If you're a college student, you have a lot of time but you want to hang out with your friend or with your girlfriend or whatever. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So how long does it take to learn English? It depends who you are. Yeah. I had a picture where it's, hopefully I can show you guys. Give me the, uh, one minute. Where, uh, no, 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 I'm not going to show you guys. Otherwise, uh, it will be a little bit, uh, no, no, I'm not going to show you guys. I have a reason why I'm not showing you guys yet. But, um, Let's go to the question again. How long does it take to learn English? Yeah. So we look at this document. We uh, we answer the question 
that this document, I can trust it, is from the Cambridge University and it's a press release. Press release is uh, things they researched, they did some research and they show you the results. And with those results, you can use them. Yeah. So if you go down here, introduction, not important. Um, let's see which page is important for us. Mm, yeah, here, number nine. So how long does it take to learn a language? So we're going to go to nine. Yeah, you can read all those things. If you do not understand, copy, paste in Google Translate, and hopefully you understand. If you still don't understand, you can contact me on Discord and we'll help you if it's necessary or when it's necessary. Yeah. So if you go down here, we are going to page nine, right? Let's see. It's been a long time since. Uh, ah, here, this is page nine. So how long does it take to learn a language? So you have hours here, not important. The thing is, you can read this uh, whatever you want. Uh, I'm not going to read this with you or explain it to you. If you want that, put it in the comments. Uh, you can read it for yourself. You can get this document on uh, Discord. But uh, what's interesting is this part. And I think you also find it really interesting. You see here, like I said, you see the levels C2, C1, B2, B1, A2, A1. Yeah, so I think we have the answer, but we need to figure out how this work. Yeah, so let's say someone in the chat said, okay, hey, Alex, I'm A2, right? Yeah, someone in the chat say, hey, Alex, I'm A2, if I remember, yeah, I am A2. So let's say I am A2 and my goal is to get to C2. So I want to from A2 to C2, that means I need to go from here to here. This much hour I need to spend in order to learn English. Wow, easy, right? If you are B2 and you want to go to C1, then you spend, need to spend this much hour. You understand that? Easy, right? And you see here, the lower the level, the less hour you need to spend in order to learn the basic. Okay, um, let's look at it. Okay. If you invest, let's say, there's something wrong. Yeah. So if I want to go from C1 to C2, I need to spend 300 or 400 hours. Yeah, this is from level below to level up. Yeah, same apply here. But here, you see the level from zero to see too how much hour you need to spend. Yeah, most people do not believe that they can. S they think okay. They say I can learn it in one month, but I do not need to spend a lot of hours in it. You're wrong. You're wrong. Hey, right. if you want to learn it in one hour, in one month, just put some hours into it. And you see here, hmm, around 190 to 150 hours if I want to get to A2. So if I'm a beginner and I want to get to A2, I need to spend around 250 hours in order to learn the language, right? And here you see, so hopefully you guys understand that. Here is when I start from zero and I go up this much hour. So I start from zero and I want to go to up. So if I start from zero and I want to go to B1, I need to spend this much hour. But here, if I, if my level is A1 or A2, doesn't matter. So let's say A2 and I want to get to C2, I need to spend this much hours every time if I want to go up. You understand that? That's what this is saying, two different things. Yeah. Okay, let's see what this is saying. I don't remember what it is. Numbers of week to achieve level from level below it's following a program of two hours in class plus two hours homework each week. And that's something that people don't understand. Some of my students also don't understand. But I'm going to explain it really clear. What you do in class is, it doesn't matter. What you do at home matter the most. Why is that? If I make homework and I ask questions in class, then I'm learning. 
if I'm doing nothing at home and I'm in class just listening, yeah, you're listening. Doesn't mean you're learning. You understand what I mean? Eh? So you need to put some work into it at home. And when you have someone to talk with or when you have a teacher that can guide you, eh, you can ask questions. For example, hey, how do you say this? Can I use this in this situation? Because then you are practicing the language. Then you know what to ask in order to learn the language. It's not like the teacher is going to teach you how it works. No. Hey. Like in a lot of live stream, during the live stream, I show you what you can and what you cannot do. Hey. I showed you how you can uh, practice vocabulary. Sometimes I do it myself because it's fun. Hey. Sometimes I will look some idioms up and I will uh, explain those idioms. But I want you to create your own examples. During the class, I will let the students read the idioms and let them think of their own example. And sometimes I'll be like, wow, I, I didn't know you could use it like that, but it's correct. But sometimes I'll be like, no, uh, no, no, another example. But it doesn't matter because based on the mistakes or based on the things that you are doing good, you are still learning the language. You're putting some hours into it. But if you're only putting some hours into it, but just to listen, doesn't mean you're learning. And when you are listening to something or when you practice something, make sure it's fun. And most of the time, I try to figure things for you guys out that is fun to do. Because it's not fun to sit down and read some book or read some grammar. It's boring. I know. It's boring. Seriously, I know. It's boring. I have done that. So it's boring. Hey. That's why, because I know that, I've experienced it, that I will look some things up that can help you guys. But it depends on you guys if you're going to put some work into it or not. It's that simple. Just go on the Discord, you'll find a lot of fun stuff to do in order to learn the language. Hey. And what I really hate or what I really don't like is when you compare yourself with other students. Don't do that. It's a waste of your time and a waste of your effort. Why is that? You are making the test, not the other students. Why do you need to compare yourself with other students? And when you want to say something, say it. Because even if you make a mistake today, doesn't mean you're going to make the same mistake tomorrow. You understand what I mean? So practice. If you do not practice, it's not going to help you. Because um, when you talk to someone, you can see the difference between someone that tried to... Um, I'm not going to offend someone here, but let me not name some names, but... When I speak to some some people, you see that they do their best to pronounce it correct. And in my head, I'll be like, hey, hurry up. I know what you're going to say, but uh, hurry up. Hey, that's not communication. Why is that? If you just say what you want to say, it will speed things up. I will not get irritated. But sometimes I will talk to someone that speak normal. Because they know if they do not pronounce it well, they will change the word of look for words that they can pronounce well. And why do I like that? Because it's easy. It's easy communication. And why is that important? When you're at the airport, if you try your best to pronounce something well, you will not get things done. There will be sometimes people who do not understand you even if you pronounce it correct. Maybe they are not a native speaker or maybe they cannot speak English really well. Um, you need to figure out how to make sure that they understand you. And if you compare yourself with other, or if you only focus on pronunciation, you're not getting anywhere. I can guarantee you that. But if you focus on make sure you get uh, that people don't understand you, you will get way much faster where you need to be. So it will get you much faster. Yeah. So my tip to you guys: do not focus on your pronunciation. Focus on things that you can use daily and you do not need to know a lot of vocabulary in order to speak English you need to know around 1,000 1, words yeah 1,000 okay. because most uh, native speakers they use I think per month or for weeks 1,000 I didn't have the um, document to show you guys but that's it okay. you do not need one um, yeah, 4,000 words of 10,000 I don't know this is not Japanese or something Japanese, that's, uh, like you see here, Japanese of Korea, you need to know a lot of things in order to speak the language. When do you use this and when do you use that? You understand? It's not about the pronunciation, it's about the, you make sure that people understand you. You will see that soon with this example. 
with this hopefully i did the translation correct but uh, we will see so yeah so how long does it take to learn english you see how much hours and you see here you need to spend two hours in class two hours doing homework per week okay. why is that in class you will get homework and with the homework you can practice when you practice you can come into class and ask questions that's why when you see that my classes they are not bigger than three because I want students to um, ask questions, but I also want to give them time to think on the answer they want to give. You understand what I mean? Okay. So when you follow the course, when you follow a course, or it doesn't matter if it's mine or other, someone else, make sure you ask for homework. Ask them after class, hey, what can I do in order to improve my speaking skills? Hey, what can I do in order to um, improve my listening skills? Ask those things. If you pay for a course, you are allowed to ask for it. Because otherwise, the, the, the quality of the course is not good. You understand what I mean? Yeah. You will get some homework. Do some homework. Make sure you get your peep together. Because otherwise, it's not going to help you. You're wasting your time. I'm going to be real with you. I can give you the things to, um, that you need in order to learn English. But it all depends on you. If you are too shy to speak English, you have a problem. Just start speaking English. Sp start speaking right now. Okay, I think we have a comment. Let me see what the comment is before we go to the next column. Uh, Thank you. Explain. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Hey, see, I like it. I really like you. Too bad that I cannot see your name, but I really like you. Do you know why? Hey, you speak up. I see some people they are watching, but they do not speak up. But um, nice work. Nice work, really. Yeah. Okay. Next column. So just remember, when you follow a course, okay, ask for homework. Make sure you do your homework at home. And I can understand when you are at home and you'll be like, hey, I'm too lazy because I just worked the whole day. I don't have time to uh, practice English. You have time to watch um, Facebook. You have time to watch some videos, right? Why not spend that time learning English? Why not spend the time to watch some um, series in English? Or why not spend the time read some article in English? What's so difficult? Or if you know that you do not have time, instead of waking up at 7 a.m., wake up at 6 a.m. Practice that one hour every day. It can help you a lot. Most people don't understand that. But you will see that soon when you schedule per week how you can learn English. It can make a huge difference if you practice one hour a day or two hours a day. Because then it's easy for you to meet those hours. When you meet these hours, I can guarantee you that you can speak English. But you need to practice. If you do not practice, you're not getting anywhere. Yeah? Hopefully you understand. Okay, let me drink some water because uh, dry mouth. I talked way too much. Okay, um, here they are saying number of additional hours of learning a week needed to complete the level in 35 weeks. You see here, um, let me see if I explain it correct. Yeah, I explained it correct. Um, if I'm A level, you see that you do not need not even one month in order to learn the language. But here, when you are B level or B2, you need at least 35 weeks or more. So, one or two, three times 35 weeks. But if you are A level, you can learn it in one month. Easy. Yeah. If you want to learn C or C2 level, see here, you need two multiplied by 35. Five multiplied by 35. Yeah. So a point, the point that I'm trying to make is when you see this, in order to get the basic done, okay, it's easy for you guys to learn it. And the person that says, hey, I am A2, congratulations. Hey, you did the big step. Now it's going to be really hard for you to develop yourself, but try to do that. Yeah. So you do not need 35 weeks in order to be learn the basic stuff. Yeah. Okay. When you look at those documents, you have two documents. And it's important to learn the title. So we understand how it works. This is for adult learning. What the definition is of adult, when are you an adult, 
or um, how, how do they see adults, you can find it in here. You can read about it. If you cannot understand it, translate it. If you still don't understand it, put it in a comment or contact me on Discord. Yeah. So this is for adult learners. What about students? So this is for secondary. And then we have primary. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is for secondary. This is how it works. So I explained above how it works here. And if you're secondary and if you're a child, uh, you, can, you can look at this. This was not interesting for me. But because all you guys are adults and you know what to do, I thought, okay, you know what? Let's look at this. Yeah. So I think this part's important. Page number 10. You can download this document on the Discord. If you're on the Discord and you cannot find it, tell me. I will look at it in my, um, yeah, in the channel. I will show you the right channel so you can download it. Yep. So we talk about it. Now we know how long you need in order to learn English. We answer the question. And let's say I'm A2 and I want to get to C2. So I need this much level, um, hours of learning, right? But um, yeah, I want to get to C1, C2. Okay? I need this much hours. Yeah. I made a document where you can plan your day and what you're going to learn per day. You can adjust it however you want. It's an Excel document. It's an Excel document that you can use. Also, go on the Discord. You can download it and you can use it. I'm not sure if I put the link in the description, but you can find it on the Discord, just to be sure. I put everything on Discord because I think you need to have a place where you can find everything that I talk about in order to download it. It's free, so why not get it? Yeah. Okay, like I said, if, you're, if your plan is to get A level, so communication level, A is most time communication level in my opinion. So you have one month plan or three month plans. If you want to get from A to B or B1 to, to B2, you have one month plan or three month plans. One month plans means you have to spend a lot of hours per day practicing English. It can be from five until seven hours. I'm going to show you how you can do that. Three month plans, it can be three or four hours per day. And I mean every day. Sorry, I think I talked too much. Yeah. Wow, almost one hour. Okay, let's wrap this up because I wanted to look at one lesson which you got. Okay. Um, here you see the first question and I have to say this question is really important yeah uh, you see I have a typo here that's so nice that eh? uh, when I find my own typos but okay um, yeah why you want to learn English that's something really important and uh, we're gonna stop uh, and look at this question the reason why I'm saying that is because your motivation all depends on the why if you want to learn English in order to get a better job or to have a better career, you can do that, but it doesn't motivate you. I'm going to be honest with you. It doesn't motivate you because if you go as in the future a better job, it's not going to motivate you today because it's something you're going to do in the future. You understand what I mean? But if you're looking differently, if you put your motivation, like I met someone in District 1 and he learned English just because he wanted to talk with um, his girlfriend in, from South Korea. Yeah. So he spent a lot of hours practicing a lot of things of how to learn English and he improved really fast. And why is that important? Because when you look at the way how he was motivated, he was motivated because he wanted to learn some basic things in order to start speaking already. And the cause of that is he started to learn the basic things and he started to talk with people. And he doesn't care if he make mistakes because the next time he'll make it better. Because every time he's going, hey, when I make a mistake, can you tell me about it after our conversation? Then I know it for the next time. You always see him with a notebook and you see his progress increase. So... What's the difference between this and your goal? Your goal is in the future. Uh, it's not clear what you want to do with English. So you're not motivated. He is really clear. And the second uh, example, he wants to learn English in order to talk with his girlfriend. 
So he is doing it really fast. Okay. But you're asking yourself right now, okay, but Alex, how can I make my motivation or my why into something for today? I cannot tell you that, but I can give you, I can give you some examples what you can do. Just put some goals for every week. Say, for example, I want to speak, I want to speak well English in this environment. I want to speak well English for um, for this topic. And if you do not know about the topic, just look some information about the topic. And do not look it up in uh, Vietnamese. I see a lot of people do that. Don't do that. Eh? Look it up in English. Go to CNN. Read about that topic. Go to that. Listen to things about the topic. Because if you put it every day about the topic, it can help you. Let me give you an example. If you're really interested in computer or design or marketing, look for an article or business or tech things up on CNN or TED. All those things are out there. You can practice your listening skills. You can practice your reading skills. And if you really want to speak with other people, go onto forums. You have forums, English forums. You can talk with other people in there. You can go on Discord and you can also talk with people there. You can practice. On Discord, you can call with people. You do not go need to go to a place where a lot of foreigners are coming. You can just go on your phone, talk to people on um, Discord. There are a lot of Discords out there where you can talk with other people. Why are you not doing that? I still don't understand that. Maybe you do not know. I can understand that. But if you do not know, just ask what are the ways to practice. And make sure you talk with someone that is an expert in certain kind of field. I talk every day with some experts. Like, uh, let me give you an example. Um, I'm working on a project. It's about about a lot of money, and it's about 10 million uh, US dollar. And the problem is, we need to go around of around some rules in uh, some law in the US. And when I talk to with those clients, sometimes it's difficult to talk with them, but sometimes it's easy. But it's fun. Hey, there will be some times that you do not know what to say, but it doesn't matter. Those people are helping you. The one thing that people don't understand about communication is, is that people want to make sure that you understand what they are saying. Like, I'm talking to you right now. We are not together here in one room. We are nowhere together. We are just me talking to the camera and you listen or you put some comment. I will look in the comments sooner. But I want to make sure that the story that I'm telling you right now that you understand it. If you understand the story, it can help you. Right. If you don't understand, I prefer you to ask question. It's the same as in daily life. It's the same when I talk with other people. Let me give you another example. I play a game, I play on professional level. Right. If I don't understand certain kind of tactic, I will talk with some people about it. I do not know them. Some of them are from Russia, some of them are from Japan. I do not know those guys. But we still hang out. We still hang out on Discord, talk with each other about tactics, how we can make it better. All in English. Some of them do not speak English well. Hey, I'll be like, okay, doesn't matter. Hey, I understand what you're trying to say. So when you talk to people, focus more on the understanding than the communication. And if you look at the question here, why speak English? Hey, think about what do you like? Do you like spa? Do you like um, football? If you really like football, do not watch football in Vietnamese. Watch football through English channels. It can help you a lot. If you go to the movie, watch the movie in Vietnamese, English subtitle. Read the English subtitle. When you watch movie, watch it in English. Read the Vietnamese subtitle. It can help you a lot. Let me give you one example. I went to, not example, sorry about that. I went to Family Mark and um, one of the staff start speaking English and I was like wow hey you speak English better than uh, everyone here and he was like um, yeah thank you hey. and and I start talking with the guy for like five minutes and um, what surprised me was he was like hey, yeah it seems that all the series that I watch because we start talking and then I name some series and then we had something in common and we keep talking and um, 
he explained to me that he really likes certain kind of series and then we start talking and he was like oh hey i made a new friend today and how did he learn that he told me i watched some series and those series really helped me a lot and it's also showed me that i can take some action and i do not need other people to help me so i can take some action as long as i do things so really nice guy and if you want to learn from this watch some series and just take some action it's that simple yeah okay so i talk way too much so the why question is important just put per week what you want to learn look some um platforms look some things up where you can talk with people and put some targets per week so targets per week means this week i want to talk about this topic who can i approach or where can i practice this really simple right okay uh, let me look at the comments and then we're gonna wrap this up because i talk way too much and hopefully i'm not too late um yeah let me look at the comments yes you got it that's good I, i'm sorry that i cannot see you guys name i'm really sorry about that i forgot to put the link in the comment but uh the person that say i got it that's good to know that you got it and then we have Khan how hopefully i'm pronouncing it correct and i do not know i think you text someone in the comment but uh okay that's good and then here i have been learning english by myself for one year bam yeah i i don't know what to say good job yeah, really good job that means you're self-disciplined you know what to do and you're still learning i really like that really good job yeah. and keep doing that hey if you want tips about those kind of things just go to discord and then uh, you can ask me question about it or whatever and i give you some tips in order to improve yes then we have online alone yeah yeah i know that feeling when you're online you do not know who to approach or where to start i hope you uh um, you mean that but online you can be alone but if you're on discord with other people let's say there um let's say you play league of legend there are some discords out there where you can be part of it and you can sp speak english with uh, people that also like that game same with Yu-Gi-Oh, same with um, other games. You don't have to worry about it. Online, you can never be alone because there are always people that has the same interests as you. Hopefully you understand what I mean. Yeah? Okay. Because my life is um, uh, will be better. So, that's better. I think that you mean that. Yes. If you want to learn English and you want to determine why you want to learn English, and I think you're trying to say, when you learn English and you can speak the language, it can help you life or uh, your life a lot. I can understand that, but it depends how. Because if you learn English and you speak like a native, eh, does it mean you will get a better job? Does it mean you will get a higher payment? Is it always like that? For example, let's say you work in um, in a store, and you are the, the only manager only person to speak english and the manager doesn't speak english are you going to get the raise just because you speak english will it make your life better what you need to understand or what you all need to understand english is the same as every language it's a tool that you can use for example if you know english and you go to china doesn't mean everyone there will uh, can understand you same for japan only if you go to an english-speaking company like canada and new zealand australia or usa then you can come then it can help you a lot but it doesn't mean you can get a better job there it just say that you will earn more than here but it doesn't mean your future will be guaranteed better so what i'm trying to say is i'm not going to discourage you i'm not telling you do not learn english what I'm trying to say is, when you learn English, make sure your goal is clear. You're learning English because you can get this job at this company. You're learning English because you want to go abroad. You're learning English because you need it in order to um, get a better position in the company. It's important to understand that. Just say, hey, I want to learn English just because it can make my um, career better. It doesn't help you. Most of the time when people follow the demo class, 
I always ask, why do you want to learn English? And I always keep asking why. Why for your job? Does it mean? And most times the students will get mad. I can understand that. But then I will explain to them why the why is important. Because if you follow the course, or if you follow a course where I'm um, teaching, it's important for me that you know why you are sitting in the class. Because if you do not know why you're sitting in the class, you don't have to come. And I always tell students, you don't have to come. But they always show up because they know why they are here. Sometimes they are sick. And they come into class, you'll be like, yeah, I'm sick, but uh, I'm still here because I know why I want to learn English. And that's really important. Most people learn English, but they do not know why. So for you, it's important. Put together. I always say this really hard and really um, blank to people. Get your shit together. Make sure you know why you want to learn English. If you do not know why to learn English, but you think it can help you in your future, that's also good. But you need to make sure that if it can help you in your future, the faster you learn it, the better. So you need to make sure that if you do not know why you learn English, but you need to make sure that you know you need to learn it fast. You understand what I mean? The faster you know how to learn a tool, the faster you know how to use a tool, it can help you a lot in the future. Yeah? So we know why you want to learn English. And like I said, what is your goal? A-level, B1 or B2 or C1? And you see here the hours. A level, 150 hours per month, you're good to go. B1 or B2, 300 hours per month, you're good to go. Because if, if you see here, we need around 500, 750 hours in order to learn the language. So you see here the hours. And how can we put it? This is my own plan and sometimes I will give it to some students because they think I need to have a plan in order to get my shit together, in order to do my things. So I tell them, just put per month 70 hours in Anki, learn the basic words that you use every day. Speak one-on-one -on -one with me, it can be 45 hours, most of the time it's 32 hours, it depends on the situation. And listening skills, I will give them some listening exercise. And speaking skills, same pronunciation. So you have a book. I do not know if I can show you guys the book right now. But technically, it's like this. You have an audio record. You see the sentence. You play the audio. It will repeat it. And you need to speak up. So there are a lot of words, a lot of sentence. And you press play. You speak up. And you speak out loud. Sometimes the students need to make a video where they do that homework and send it to me and I will tell them how they can make the pronunciation better. And most of the time it's sentence. They don't like it. They like words because it's easy, but sentence is difficult. But the more they do it, the better they get. And sometimes during class, I let them read out loud because it can help the students. And the problem that they're having is reading out loud is they focus too much on the pronunciation, but they do not understand. If they focus too much on the pronunciation, you will not understand the text. If you focus too much on understanding the text, your pronunciation will not be good. So this needs to match up. Hopefully you understand what I mean. Yeah. So reading out loud and writing exercise. Sometimes I give them some writing exercise that you can do. On a Discord, you find a lot of things that you can use in order to do all those things. But why is it important? We have this much hour. We need to put together a plan. So I'm going to spend 70 hours, half of it, to build up my vocabulary, especially when you st uh, while you're starting out. Speak one-on-one. -on -one. So I can speak one-on-one -on -one with a teacher, but I can also speak one-on-one -on -one with someone else. I just need to plan it. And then listening. I can go on YouTube or whatever film, listen to those things, and watch the subtitles. And what you need to do afterward is look at it again without subtitles. That's the funny part. Uh, and uh, speaking pronunciation, I explain it, audio, you repeat what you just said, reading and writing, so read it out loud and write it down. So these are the things that you can do. When you have this much hour, you need to split it up. Yeah. So I'm splitting this up, and here you see per day. So this is my calendar. Like I said at the beginning, this is an Excel file. You can download it on a Discord. When you download it, you get this and it's up to you to fill it in let me give you an example monday 
until Sunday, I will practice one hour of vocabulary. Wow, one hour, gone. L after that, I will practice listening. Two hours. I practice in the morning, two hours before going to work English. So normally I will get up at seven, but I'm not going to get up at seven. I will get up at five, practice two hours, and then I'm done every day. I know it's hard, but as soon as you start the first two weeks, it's going to be easy, long road. So, those two hours, you can get it. Yeah. Then, in the evening, if you're at the English house, most of the time you know you can practice with the other teacher, you can speak English. Right? Sometimes you have class, sometimes you don't. Sometimes you also have an afternoon class. Doesn't matter. Yeah? Those hours, you can also include it. As long as you speak, as long as you talk with other people, as long as you practice the language. So if you look here, Monday the same, reading and listening, and speak during the class. It depends when you have class doing in an English house. Reading. So if you look the other days, you can plan this however you want. You can plan it every week. You can plan it every month. Doesn't matter. As long as you plan it. If you plan it, it's going to go well if you follow it for two weeks be disciplined follow it for two weeks it's going to help you a lot so if i have this seven days two times is 14 hours just one week 14 hours and then if i follow this i can get a lot of hours here you understand that so if i follow this i already have seven and then 10 hours and then one hour so technically i have 21 hours in one week three times or four times 21 hours mm, i'm getting a lot far okay. so every week 21 hours four times four weeks in a month and okay, you will get 120 hours so one month and a half you already want 50 hours so technically in one month and a half you can get to a level a1 or a2 level if you just follow this and you only study around two or four hours a day yeah this is if your goal is if you want to go to a level b level you need to step up you need to practice more hours a day if you practice like five hours a day five to seven hours a day let's say three hours in the morning four hours in the evening and between here you go to work do it one month and a half and you're gonna get really far yeah the problem is discipline so you need to follow it every day. That's really important. If you do not follow it every day, it's going to be really hard. And I know it can be like the first week, you're going to be like, yeah, hey, I finished one week, three weeks to go. After two weeks, you're going to be like, uh, I'm going to give up. Always happen with a lot of people. And when that happens, you need to look at the why. Why are you learning English? Yeah. Let me tell you something that happens a lot. Most of the time, the students, they follow a course, and it can be three months, and uh, they're starting out, and at the first two week, the first two week with me, it's not fun. Yeah. Seriously, it's not fun. But after two weeks, you will see the value of it, because you will, s you will see like, hey, I'm starting to read English, and I have more confidence in myself. I have some students saying, hey, I started, uh, I, I found it so funny. And the student said, uh, yeah, that was funny. Uh, she said, I was making homework, but then I started to speak to myself, but not in Vietnamese, but in English. And I was like, why did you do that? I said, because if I speak um, to myself, it's easy for me to practice those words. Because if I practice like this, it's easy for me to uh, remember it and also see if it sounds okay or not. Because most of the time in the class, I would tell them, don't remember the grammar rule. Just think about it. Does it feel okay when you say something? If it doesn't feel okay, it's wrong. Because there will be situations where you have exceptions. And sometimes you do not know when to use those exceptions or not if you are not native. And that's the problem. And that's why um, the thing is you need to look at the feeling. The feeling, you can only get it if you watch a lot of, um, let's say, English movies, series, whatever. Right? If you get those feelings, it's going to get easy for you. And it also will get easy when you start to learn some idioms. That's why I also focus on idioms, because then you get the feeling for certain kind of um, verbs and also some English exercise. 
Hopefully you understand what I mean. But when you get the feeling, it's easy. So the student starts speaking to herself, and you see right now during class, she talk, and for me it's be like, hmm, how can I make this class so difficult? Because every time when I make it difficult for her, it's not normal. You understand? When you keep making something difficult for someone, it will become normal. And when you make something easy for them, they're going to be like, hmm, I'm bored. And that's the way you need to get. When something, when you do something difficult every time, every time, every time, the things that are going to get easy, you will get bored because you already know the answer. And most things that are easy, you will get in the test. Hopefully you understand what I mean. Yeah. I think we have some comments. Let me look at the comments. Sorry about it. I will always finish my story and then I will look at the comments and then react on it. I cannot see you guys' names. Sorry about that. Next time when I live stream on my own profile, I will fix that. Yeah. Because I thought I fixed that, but I didn't. I think next live stream I will fix that. I will try to fix that. Okay. Um, let me look at the comments. Oh. Yes, yes, hey, 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 hey. We do not hope here. Learn English every day. The hope to become proficient soon. No, no, no. We do not hope here. You will become proficient soon. Yeah? So we do not hope here. If you practice every day, if you are disciplined, you will get there. You understand that? So we do not hope here. You will get there. I believe in you. Yes? Let's see. Do we have more comments? We don't have any more comments. Eh? Let's keep going. Whoa, 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 whoa. I think I I went to... Oh, one hour and 15 minutes. Almost finished. Yeah? So, so we have here the plan. Yeah? So, like I said, if you practice every day, make a calendar, use Google Calendar, uh, or whatever, Microsoft, doesn't matter. But just put it in the calendar. You know, I need to get up, get my shit together. So, I need to practice. It's that simple. I can prove this to you guys as it work by learning another language, but I need to get motivated to learn another language. If we do, if I don't have that, I'm not going to learn that. Okay? But I'm here to help you guys. Just go on Discord. You can ask me anything. I will try to help you. So you see here, these are some examples where you can practice reading and listening. You have English LD, a lot of exercise in order to learn English. Anki, I explained in another video how to learn English. And this, this last but not least, is the important part of the planning. Keep track. If I say I'm going to practice today, I need to practice it here. So I need to put in here, I practice this. Why is this important? At the end of the month, you can see Hey, I did this, I did this. What is the result? And that is really important. The result can help you for the next month. The results can help you what you're doing wrong and what you're not doing wrong. If you understand those kind of things, it can help you learn the language faster because you see what is, your, what is my weak point? What is my strong point? So if I can speak really well, that's a good thing. So my speaking skill is really good. But what about my listening skills? What about my writing skills? What about my reading skills? Are those things on the same level? How can I get those things on the same level? And here you can see what you practiced and what you didn't practice. If you practice speaking a lot, but your level didn't go up, that means you're doing something wrong. If you practice writing a lot, but it didn't go up, the same story. But if you're sp practicing listening not a lot, but your level went up, then you're doing something good. You need to figure out what it is. So keeping track of something is really important. You understand what I mean? When you keep track of something, it can help you a lot. Yeah. So, um, yeah, here you can keep track of it. And normally I use Notion. I made a video on my YouTube channel. So I have a YouTube channel. You can find a lot of videos about how to learn English. Yeah. But I, made, I use Notion. Notion, you can put it in the system and you can keep track of it. But there's a lot of I have a lot of reasons why I stop using Notion, and I think Excel is better, eh? because when you have Excel, you can put it in your Google account. Doesn't matter where you are, you can look back at it. Eh? If you don't have a laptop or whatever, you can still use this on Google. I think it was Google Sheets. Eh? You can still use Google Sheets with this document. Put it in your Google account. Go to the Google Drive and fill it in. That's simple. Eh? But the important part is keep track. And here you see, this is the day. So if I'm practicing one month, 
it's around 30, 31 days. If I'm practicing three months, 19 days. You see that here, 90 days. This, this is a plan for three months. That's simple. Yeah. Important key part. So if you look at this, this plan, this document is made with you in mind, what you can and what you cannot do. I try to make it simple. Okay? When you download this, you only see this as an example. But this is a PDF, but you have the Excel file where you can adjust it so you can change it. So when you download this, you can fill, um, fill this in. This is my um, notes. You can fill this in however you want. I made a video about that, how you can do that, but you can fill it in and you can use it whatever you want. Yeah. So just go on the Discord and download it. If you're on Discord and something went wrong, you can just look at my name, Martis. You can send me a message and I will see it on my phone and I will react as soon as possible. If you cannot speak English and you want to speak Vietnamese, don't worry. I have an assistant. She can talk with you. So do not worry about that. Yeah. The question is, when are you going to start? Okay, I talk too much. Now you guys are going to help me. Okay? So the guys are watching and putting some comments. Here we have a lesson. I, um, yeah, I found this on the internet. Really interesting. But I wanted to check out if it's correct. Because he, I see the same sentence every time. Yeah, And here in English, it depends on the situation. So let me guys know what you guys think of the first two, three. The first three. So we are talking about the first three. Let me know what you think about the first three. Um, four. First four. Is it correct? Can you say it differently in Vietnamese? Um, so the question is, interesting question. Do you know if there is an app for free speaking practice? Um, yes, there is. The thing is, there is an app almost for everything, but the app, uh, there are a lot, by the way, now I think about it. Um, hopefully, I can show you. Um, no, the thing is, I deleted it on my phone, but um, let me explain what I mean. So this question, do you know if there is an, any app for free speaking practice? If you are on a Discord, and when you are on a Discord, you talk with other people, you can go into a channel where you can talk with other people i think i will sh uh, i will invite you guys next time when we're on discord i will talk with you guys and i will show it on the stream why i'm doing that is because i'm not the only discord there are also other discord where you can join where you can talk with other people you can even follow some english class there for free you understand what I mean? Yeah. Discord is an app. You can use it on your phone. You can also use it on your computer. So you do not need to, um, a computer to use it. You can use it on your phone. Yeah. That's number one. I say that a lot. Second, if you have an iPhone or an um, Android, I do not know. Android, they have Alexia, but iPhone, they have Siri. Yeah. What you can do is, just say, hey Siri, how is it going? Change your phone into English. Yeah? So if you change it into English, uh, you can also practice pronunciation English. And you will see when the voice of the phone change, you see how your pronunciation is doing well or not. So sometimes, if you do not know if it's working with your Android or your iPhone, I know for sure iPhone have um, series. You can download Google um, Alexia. Let me see. L let me look at the name of the app. I have it here because sometimes I use it when I'm driving. Eh? The app is called Google. You can download it and you can press the mic. You can say, Google, how is it going? Or, okay, Google, how are you doing? See, I'm doing right now. Google, search for the song. See, it's searching for a song or how are you doing? Uh, let me see if I can share my screen with you guys, then I can show you guys what I mean. Give me one second, I'm going to share my screen with you guys, and then you guys see what I mean. And the I starts to almost finish, huh? Come on, go down, Google. Okay. 
let me share my screen with you guys so you guys see what i'm doing um how can i do this plus give me a second i'm going to show you guys my stream uh yeah see this is my phone yeah no 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 give me a second let me remove this okay so it's a little bit complicated for me but i'm going to show you guys what i mean okay this is not good yeah so you see this is my phone right so you see this is my phone right google okay google you see that okay google how are you doing You see that? Google, search Ho Chi Minh City. Okay, Google, search Ho Chi Minh City. So you see that? Okay, cancel. Okay, so let me um, stop this. So you see that when you when you want to practice pronunciation, you can use those kind of app to see how your pronunciation is doing, if it's doing well or not. Okay. If this is understand, if the if Google is understand, uh, if Google understand you, it's gonna help you a lot because it can boost your pronunciation. So I think when you use this, it can help you a lot. Let me change this back to the PDF. Yeah. So that's one way. And if you are Android, you can use the Android phone. But if you're a normal phone, you can, um, so normal like iPhone, you can use this. Okay, um, let's see, what do we have more? Um, let's see. Um, yeah, do you know any app? So, like I said, you can use the Google app, you can use the Discord app. Oh, by the way, I can show you also the Discord. Ah, not so smart. Let me show you the Discord. That's the last thing I wanted to do. And then... I'm gonna go show you guys some examples so you guys know what I'm talking about if I talk about the Discord. So the Discord is not only about the Discord for for learning English with us, but Discord is also for other things. So here you have it. Um, let me put it in here again. So you see here, this is the Discord. Yeah, I'm in a Discord. These are Korean people, and some of them are Japanese for anime i really like anime so yeah uh -huh. hopefully you guys can see it because i'm trying to make it bigger but i don't want the computer to crash yeah so you see this is discord yeah oh, oh, oh. you see here this is discord this is a discord for streamers where i talk with a lot of people from different country uh -huh. and they give me music that i can put during my stream so i can talk with them but I can also go with um, talk with them in a uh, voice channel. So you see here downstairs. Oh, they don't have it here in this channel. But let's say here, you have a voice channel. And in this voice channel, you can talk with people. So I hope um, next time I can find a couple of people. We will go on Discord, we will talk. And during the talk, you see I will stream it so you guys can talk along. Next time I'll put it also in this um, in the stream. I need to invite some people to go in there, and then ah, uh, I see I remove myself from other groups. There were some groups that they teach you how to speak Vietnamese, also Discord, but I found it boring, so I went to another place. And then you have here. This is the game they're playing on high level, Yu-Gi-Oh, and this is also another Discord group. And here you have a lot of people in it. Uh, so. What I'm trying to say with this is, in a Discord, you can find a lot of Discords online where you can learn English. Yeah? And I think when you start out, you can um, be part of the community, talk with people, and you can learn a lot. You can use it on your phone. So I show you the Discord right now on the phone. So if you look at the Discord, we also have a Discord here. Let me show you. So this is Discord where you're in. You can see English tip, business English, IELTS English, class. Most of the time my students find the things that they need here. 
and if you're students sometimes you can promote yourself for other um, students so that's for teacher and other stuff so if you're really interested become part of discord learn how discord work because it can open a lot of things for you and you can also talk with other people and you can practice english yes okay i think i talk way too much i said it an hour ago eh? let me remove my phone again sorry about that yeah ah, this is really handy this uh, app okay okay um so if you guys have questions put it on discord uh, i will look at the comment later and eh? now i'm gonna go prepare for another meeting and hopefully you guys uh, can use the information of the stream next week i will try to stream and next time i will um do anki every month i will show you guys some examples of how you can learn english of some tips if you are interested in becoming part of the um of the stream next week so we can practice english online let me know okay? and um i will plan when we're going to stream and i will tell you how discord work and so how we can do that and you guys will see next week how we're going to do that and i need to talk with some other people they also want to become a part of the stream and we will go together in the discord we will talk and hopefully hopefully it's not going to be chaos but then we can practice okay hope you guys like it and hope you guys have enough information to practice english next month every month i will try to give you guys some tips and new tricks how you can plan the way how you can learn english okay um, it's nine o'clock. I wish you guys a nice evening and I'll see you guys in the next video. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it up with some work and belief. Know what I want. So I'll take it on. I made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong. Let's break it down for a minute. I want the crown, I'm gon' get it. You hear me loud, man, I'm winning. Yeah, Charlie, she went.